have just been really unfair. You know, some of us work our whole lives to achieve something and then others are just handed everything on a silver platter. <laughs> More than once. Okay then, just let's talk about your brother. I, I'm not the prodigal, just to be clear. I work harder than anyone I know. I, yeah, I just don't know. I don't know how he does it. I don't know how he gets away with it. just don't understand. <laughs> it's as if you have to be part of this clandestine, secret, society thing no one ever told me about. I don't even know how he got into it. Freaking failure. I was busy with this shoot at this amazing studio and everything was going so well and I was busy changing lenses or I can't even remember what and suddenly he, he walks in out of nowhere. I didn't even know they knew him and this art director takes a photo with him, takes a selfie with him and then she posts it online and she says, best photographer ever. I mean... I know I'm not supposed to be upset by something like that, it's pretty childish, but it's just the, just the cheek of her and him and him coming into the shoot. He knew I was there, he absolutely knew I was there. He just doesn't care about anybody but himself. He isn't a professional. He's got no professionalism at all. Nothing. There isn't a hint of, of a professional being in his body. He doesn't even respect himself. You know, he doesn't even, he doesn't even shoot people who, who, um, who, who he doesn't know. He only does private jobs now. It's as if he's, he's so far up there. Blue. He can't even see his Green. own faults. Blue. Yellow. No, I'm just saying I printed what you gave me. It's and like a I freaking colour wall, yeah. I don't know what... Um, you know what? <laughs> go. <laughs> go, please go. He hasn't been in, uh, in, in ages, so it's not as if he's gonna pay. <laughs> oh, he was terrible. It was as if there was no stop to him. And then, as time passed, he realised there's still nothing here. <laughs> And that nobody knows what he did there. He's got no money. He's got no place to go. Another story begins, where one returns, another man. 
Wasn't that amazing? Pardon? The, just, I just thought it was amazing. Wasn't it amazing? What was? The, the story. Like, oh. didn't you just like, oh, didn't you just like feel connected to like, that's your story, that's my story. Do you know what I mean? No, not really. No, I'm sure, uh, I mean, I just found it incredible and moving and like, it's just so awe-inspiring, you know? I'm glad. <laughs> well, I don't know. I, I mean, I lost... I watch a lot of theater and I don't usually get this sort of, you know, that sort of sense of, mm. you know, like truth. Yeah. about the story but not about you you're the stupid hard working one that's right you're the slave and you like it look at you now your body can't even take it you don't get to tell me <laughs> you don't you're not in charge. I am. No. Really? How many times have you said you're good enough? I am. And that is how you lose everything. When you had it all alone. Really? You can't do this. <laughs>
You like my opinion? You know, over the years, we, we, we had a dedication to craft, and the craft proved the value. We kind of have to undo things now so that we can go through a slower process of making pictures that matter. Hey, little buddy. We're a little far from home, <laughs> even in your little shell. But I realize the ones that really matter the most to me are the ones that I left at home, the ones that give me meaning to, to live by. Today, uh, if you're watching this, if you're experiencing this, Masterclass. I want to just encourage you, what you're doing today, it can matter more just by using this in a more meaningful, in a more caring way. All right, so the, the biggest takeaway is that um, light changes, and if you can't read the light, especially at this time of day, you're not going to get the magic. And often we have to perk ourselves up so that we can see, but you know, you've heard of that thing of squinting or blurring your eyes. Very good technique. Uh, but when you're looking for the right light, it's as though the magic finds you. Uh, that's my experience, at least. Yes, so that's, that's essentially what we're doing. And uh, remember that these are things that you can really apply, especially, I mean, here we're shooting uh, in the morning. Landscape, it's, it's all the same thing, really. All right, uh, look, we've got time for a little Q&A. So, uh... Yes, um, so I heard that um, there's a bit of history or there's a bit of family history with regards to photography. So, uh, this, this is an heirloom, for example. Uh, my grandfather bought this in the 50s. He gave it to my father when my father turned 21. Uh, when I turned 22, I had to go and ask for it. I literally asked for it. Oh, wow. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's been with me ever since. It's the one thing I never traded in. And, uh, but it's so valuable because every picture that gets taken in here it's a picture that basically says uh, that the thing I'm taking a photo of is valuable and that it means something. Um, Your sister, did she also take photos? Tell us about that. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, my sister, yes. Uh, she's the older one, uh, stable, amazing, uh, bit of, definitely a bit of photographer than me, definitely. And uh, she's really everything I'm not as a photographer. Like. Um, She's dedicated, hardworking, and I, I don't think I've seen someone like that ever. You know what I mean? I, I, think, I think I've, everything I've, I've just bumbled my way through things, and somehow I land up where I am, you know? But she's the hard worker. She deserves respect that maybe she doesn't get, and maybe respect she, uh, she doesn't get from me. Uh, yeah, but like I said, using this camera means that the thing I'm taking a photo of is valuable enough. It, to be photographed. So good. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah, cool. It's that valuable.